the three and two New York or the three and two Baltimore Ravens traveling to take on the New York Giants at four and one. This is a team in the New York Giants that we have talked about trying to figure out if they're the real deal or not. Aaron, you move them up very high uh, this week in the power rankings. They are not favored at home, though, uh, against the Ravens. The Ravens are six point favorites with an over under a 45 here. AJ, I'm going to go to you on this first question. The Giants have, are four and one. Like they've they've so they've made it happen. Brian Dable has that team going. They've been finding ways to win. What are the keys for them in this one to find a way to upset the Baltimore Ravens? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be a broken record here and say what I said for them to win last week. It's it's about the run game. Saquon's been that offense. Daniel Jones has shown he can be a quote unquote dual threat because uh, he is capable with his legs. And one of the things the Ravens are susceptible to our quarterbacks rushing the ball. Um, they, they, I think they allow the fourth most rushing yards to the quarterback position this season coming in. So um, if you can get that ball going with Saquon Barkley, like, you know, Saquon Barkley is going to do because not many teams have found a way to stop him at this point in time. Uh, and then get Daniel Jones finding some space out on the edge and let him use his legs. Um, it's going to be hard to stop him. I mean, I remember there's not very many passing options in this New York Giants offense as of right now. Does that hurt you? It possibly can, because if they just know you're going to run, maybe they're going to be prepared for it. Um, but I'm, I'm of the mindset that it's going to be tougher for the Denver, uh, the I'm sorry, I said defend Denver and what I want to try to say defend, but the Baltimore Ravens uh, to stop this run game effectively. Uh, and I think they're going to have a tough time with it. But uh, uh, the key for the Giants, they, they need to they need to run the ball. Yeah, that's that's the that is their offense. Run the ball. And then, well, it, it's kind of funny, like we talk about how teams you you run the ball it opens up more room for your passing like that's an obvious thing to say and like the giants are just simply doing that with saquon barkley you have to respect saquon barkley and even daniel jones in the rushing attack that makes things harder to read no matter what who the weapons are that daniel jones has to throw to the running game is so crucial and so important uh for a team the giants on the defense side of the ball one of the most blitz heavy teams in the nfl uh, the Wink Martindale led defense for the Giants is second in the league in terms of pressure rate. Uh, when he was with Baltimore as the defensive coordinator, he was first in the league in terms of defensive rate, la- defensive pressure rate last season. So this Giants team is just getting to the quarterback, getting to the quarterback, getting to the quarterback. For Baltimore, how does that affect Lamar and the rest of this offense, Aaron? Well, are they getting to the quarterback? Uh, I mean, they have the, the, the I, I, I'm not necessarily saying that they're being productive when it comes to getting to the quarterback. Oh, but, yeah, that's what you said. But said they're getting to the quarterback. They're, uh, they're getting to the quarterback, maybe not being effective against the quarterback. I'll dive into that a little bit while you answer my question. How does it, how does a big time pass rush affect Lamar Jackson? How does all I, this I, pressure get to Lamar Jackson? I don't think it, I, I, I so I, I think this is a complete disadvantage for the Giants. This game is a complete mismatch. You have a team that pressures a lot, that wants to pressure a lot, um, blitzing, 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 a running quarterback, which means you can't let them escape the pocket because they're playing a lot more man coverage. When you're blitzing, usually you're playing man coverage. And if you're in man coverage, the defensive backs where are their eyes? Their eyes are on the receiver, not at the quarterback, which means when Lamar Jackson escapes the pocket, nobody's there to take to, to account for him unless you have some sort of quarterback spot. Um, not to mention the, the Giants actually are not very good against the run. They're a bottom half, I think bottom six team, six or seven team against the run this year. They're averaging allowing over 130 yards rushing per game. Well, that's what Baltimore wants to do, especially with Lamar Jackson. On the offensive side of the football, you have the Giants who want to run the football and the Baltimore Ravens who don't have a great pass defense who actually are really good against the run. So um, this, to me, is a complete mismatch of a game for the Giants, and this is going to be a true testament of how good the Giants are, how good the Giants are coached. Um, Is Martindale going to change some of his strategies? Because when you pressure or try to pressure Lamar Jackson, when you decide to blitz him, you have to get home. If you don't get home, you lose in Lamar Jackson has a against Lamar Jackson, knowing how dangerous he is, do you re- really risk that? Or do you change to change things up, sit back in some zone coverage, maybe have a quarterback spy on him and force him to beat you with his arm, um, which is outside the comfort zone of the Giants defense right now. So I think this is a mismatch for the Giants. I think I think it's going to be a tough, tough sledding for, for them to stop Lamar in this in this game. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be another like I I, I know that there's. I wonder if Giants fans, Giants fans, if you're watching this, let us know in the comments if you are, if like how, how, where your belief level is on this team. Cause I feel bad not believing in the Giants every week. Cause they're, I mean, they're four and one, they're finding ways to win. This is another game you, where you, I'm not you talk gonna, about it more than anybody, Vinny. I, I do. I, I, I do. <laughs> they're I, four and one. Like, like, I think, I think what you want is this is what I think you want. You the same thing them. with the it's the same thing with the, the what I do with the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's I'm expecting that reset game where they fall back and it's like okay, but, uh, this but is, that may happen. Where, but that may happen. But it doesn't mean that they're a, a bad football team. You're just looking at four and one and saying, oh my god, we have to account for them being four and one. Like what? That's crazy. They're four. No, they well, just we, they're better than they were last year. Yes. Like stop looking at the record. To Much better. Arguably like, one of the best teams in the NFL right now in terms of record. Again, New York Giants. You're, you're, you're doing New York Giants much. have the you're same record as much. the Kansas City Chiefs. How about that? You're doing, you're doing too much. I can't. Okay. Well, I don't have I don't have the 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 Giants in this one. I am continuing to doubt them. Uh, they lose this game. The Ravens win thirty to seventeen. I think the the Ravens are too much. I think that uh, I, I, like I said, yeah, they're too much. I think this is the the step back game. Like I just said, with the New York Giants, they only get seventeen points here. Thirty seventeen, Baltimore. AJ. Yeah, um, I agree with basically everything you just said. So my score, uh, I'm also with the Ravens, 27-17. Uh, I think the Giants get their second loss. Quick, easy. Eric. The Giants have not scored more than 20 points outside of what well, they scored 21 and outside of one time. Um, they lose this game 34-20. to Baltimore is too high-powered offensively for them. Lamar Jackson is going to have a, a bananas day, and it's just too much. <laughs> Bananas, B A N A N A S. <laughs> that's that's what's happening here. Sorry. <laughs> uh -huh.